Genetics. How important do you think genetics really are? Well, I'm going to link a study in this video that you can go read about the ROB01 learning ability. If you really think about it as I begin to analyze genetics, you say, hey, when we start thinking real hard, sometimes we forget to breathe, right? You like, you start processing, you go, or you see something good in the movie, you happens. You're like, whoo, I forgot to breathe. If you have an Apple Watch, the Apple Watch comes on every so often and it tells you, take a deep breath because we now know the power of oxygen. Well, we don't all know the power, but it's, it's necessary. VO2 max is a whole nother thing. There are over 59 genes that they have studied and are studying that attribute to a dog's muscular and performance abilities. This one right here, they believe, is one of the most important ones because it basically makes them understand, and they start thinking about what's going on, and then they have to think about the moves. And when you have to think about in boxing, anticipating the right move, throwing a punch, and track where you're putting your feet. In baseball, when to swing, you're literally using your muscles, right? So they believe that the mind is even more important than the muscles in when it comes to muscle development based on this gene. But there are genetics that attribute to blood flow, strength, and even your heart rate, and your heart's health, to be clear. And that's a fact because we know that stenosis can be passed along. Heart problems can be passed on. They are congenital. Not a lot of information out there about dogs. So, I wanted to talk about the 50, well, I ain't gonna talk about 59 genetics. <laughs> but the study said that there are 59 genes that they're studying and the study in full with over 722 dogs um, is coming out next week or next month. And I'm definitely going to be reading it, but I wanted to put you guys on game. How important are the genetics? Everybody loves a buff dog. If you're in the bully space, you like a muscled up dog. We all do. Now, what's the point of having muscle if it can't move? That being said, stay tuned, ask questions, go read about this. The link below exactly what this thing is talking about. I found it interesting. Shout out to Cartel Bulls because him and I go back and forth about genetics and their impact on our dog's quality of life. Miles Statton's a real thing, but Chris Moore is the one who said, Dax, which the dogs we have in here at the Dax line, he said he had that muscle gene. You go, hmm, look at the human side. How many genetics do humans have that basically impact their ability to grow muscle? It's quite a bit, so it's not always need one specific one. It's capitalized collectively on all of them to ensure good muscle, good health, good blood flow. Stay tuned as always, take care of your dogs.